Brought to you for Coming at you with another video. You know, every now and then there's some just fucking gold through the internet. And, you know, you'd think, you know, maybe you do some research. Maybe you might find, you know, a... Uh, You know, an expert that you can ask about different information. Maybe Dr. Morgan Dollar himself. And then there's just fucking gold. According to Aaliyah Dadasker, I don't know how to say that, uh, at uh, USA Today, Dax Shepard is taking heavy testosterone injections, which are often misused. Oh, let me get it. Yeah, we'll get into it later. Which experts want you to know? Actor Dax Shepard has spent years talking openly about sobriety, building his highly successful armchair expert podcast around an ethos of vulnerability. Shepard has been in recovery for 16 years when he revealed in September that he'd relapsed from prescription pain pills, a fact he was reticent to admit publicly. But he decided it was relevant for a fan base who would come to admire his honesty. In his latest disclosure, 46-year-old said on the podcast guests with Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis that he's using heavy testosterone injections. I spent my whole life as a medium boy, he said, after Kutcher remarked on the size of his biceps, and now I'm a big boy, and I like it. Shepard initially said he was using testosterone to bulk up, but when Kush Kutcher Kutcher and Kunis expressed concern, Shepard said low testosterone runs in his family, and then using it has improved his disposition. <laughs> While uh, his uh, his boss babe is looking like she's uh, 18, and she's freaking 35 or something, heck, she she may even be... Actually, let's look at this up while we're talking. What age is Kristen Bell? <laughs> she's definitely on hormones, by the way. Um, <laughs> ain't no way you're looking like that. And, uh, she's 41. Okay, yeah, right. And she's had kids? Nope. That's not how that works. Um, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Testosterone is a hormone that helps men maintain everything from muscle strength to facial hair to sex drive. Uh, anything about cognition, not having diabetes, reducing risk of heart attacks and strokes, nothing about that. Well, there are medical reasons for using testosterone, says experts say steroids carry many physical and mental health risks. Okay, what's this? Testosterone is an androgen. It is a powerful steroid that can have a lot of effects downstream and can impact mood and then impact anxiety and also itself lead to addiction. Colin Reef, an addiction psychiatrist at NYU who specializes in substance abuse? Give me a fucking break. Okay, one... You just heard the fact that he talked about, which is protected by HIPAA, by the way. Even if he said it on a podcast, still protected by HIPAA. You using his uh, his disability against him, that kind of a crime. Uh, even if you're just talking about it, like in the public, um, using it against him, yeah, that's kind of a crime, by the way. You probably shouldn't do that. You should retract your your statement uh, if this person's a psychiatrist. Uh, Doctor Reef should probably take this down, by the way, because uh, yeah, you're headed you're headed for the court. Um, it's not a good idea, by the way. Um, discussing someone else's medical condition in public, that you even receive the information and then using your own uh, medical information about that person against them in, a, in a, uh, an article. Yeah, not a good plan, by the way. Testosterone peaks during adolescence and young uh, adulthood, according to the Mayo Clinic, and declines with age. Actually, no, it's, no it doesn't. Uh, it's been proven that testosterone does not decline with age, that we have a toxic environment, that due to endocrine disrupting chemicals that are attacking your hypothalamus, your pituitary, and the other hormones in your body, that is why we have lower declining testosterone, and it is not related to age. It has not been proven. You cannot say that as a medical fact. That's not true. I'm going to say this thing, a BS, a professor at, of medicine at Harvard Medical School, which you didn't consult his buddy, Dr. Morgenthaler, and you're making this? Really? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but he's your boss, or somewhat around your boss, so you should probably take some uh, cues from him. So testosterone is only approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for clinical use. Treatment of hypogonad has been men, a condition where the body does not produce enough testosterone. Testosterone treatment is also medically appropriate. 
uh, Doctor B said as a as gender affirming care, which you're not gonna trash a guy for getting help, but then you're gonna throw in trans stuff. Okay, we're not talking about trans people here. You do whatever you want, like no one cares. But that had nothing to do with anything we're talking about here. So I'm not sure where you're going with this. Uh, Dessa Bergen, something. Uh, coordinator of addiction studies program at research uh, at, at Syracuse University says the use of alcohol, cannabis, and amphetamines and opioids, which Shepard says he's abused during his last relapse, can also lower testosterone. Opioid agonist therapies, including methadone and suboxone, can also suppress testosterone. In these cases, experts say testosterone placement may be recommended, but only under the care of a medical professional. What the fuck? Is he trafficking in it? Is he getting it from his dad? like his fucking dealer or something dude it's fucking people but even when testosterone is prescribed it can include a host of dangerous and unwelcome side effects inclus including in risk risk of blood class cardiac problems with enlarged breasts and limited sperm production jesus these fucking people uh, <sighs> testosterone increases estradiol which protects your heart it also includes erythrocytosis, which is not polycema vera. And because it's not polycema vera, and it's not fucking cancer, it's erythrocytosis. It is the upregulation of red blood cell counts by what? Oxygen. And more oxygen in the blood leads to a healthier life. And you can't have cardiac problems if you have an upregulation from testosterone without a current heart risk, which is then evaluated by a doctor. And this person is not his doctor and is writing about it as if he is his doctor and then chastising him for seeking medical treatment. Well, Shepard said testosterone is prescribed, testosterone has helped his mood he said he was depressed after the 2017 Philium chips and now is on fire to work. It says his efficacy is treating major depression has not... Dude, what the fuck? Where are you getting this? What? Oh, these people. There is agreement that testosterone does not improve major clinical depression. No, it's not. Testosterone was created as a psychological drug. It was created as a psych medication in the first place. It's literal side benefit is that it creates positive mood. I swear. <laughs> these people. And actually, so, some lawyer out here, please please take these people to court. Because this is just ridiculous. You, these people should not be allowed to just get away with putting these reports out when there's millions and millions and millions of people getting help right now. And with the projection that I just saw for 2000 and, uh, 2030, it's going to grow from $1 billion to $46 billion in the amount of sales uh, or, or the, the, the whole entire testosterone market is going to grow to $46 billion, by the way. So these people, yeah, they're, they're not on track. Endocrinologists say the majority of testosterone misuse is driven by body dissatisfaction. Most people who misuse testosterone are young men. Almost always weightlifters, bodybuilders who are using testosterone to look leaner and more muscular. People who voted for the orange, the orange uh, Cheeto guy. That's what they're trying to jab in the side of you. It's a body image disorder. Wait, so he already said that he has hypogonadism runs in his family, which... We know that's kind of not true. It's, we live in a, a terrible society. But um, that's his hypothesis. Let's take his hypothesis at face value. If you have a history of crap genetics in your family and crap testosterone levels, it's actually going to be a given to the uh, the fetus, um, which is where endometriosis and I think another uh, disease comes from, where you don't have enough testosterone in the body, and then that creates a genetic um, issue um, with the fetus, and then that re which results in endometriosis and some other diseases, particularly for women, and then I'm just going to go on a limb here and say it's going to affect testosterone for men too, for sure. Uh, the use of steroids can play into that, and it can be 
and they can become not addictive in the same ways as stimulants and depressants, but can play the same reward reinforcement pathways in the brain. It also fosters an increase in adrenaline, aggression, and anger, which can also have an addictive quality. That's from freaking D-ball and like legit steroids. And if you're using it under a doctor and there's like a steroid that's like available through a pharmacy, um, there's no reason why you can't at least try it with a doctor and microdose it and see if it works. I mean, you can research it, see if it's going to cause problems, works, works, if it doesn't, don't take it. And don't take steroids from a guy who's probably an FBI informant, so just don't do that. That's not a good plan. Um, in, in a gym, right? If a guy offers you something in a gym, he's working for the FBI, so don't do that. Or DEA. Uh, a psychology professor at the University of Texas in Austin said the paraphernalia required to administer testosterone may be added to this rate. Dude, can these people just not... If someone is using injectable steroids, that means they have... Oh, God. And to some people, those needles are triggers. And we have to affirm that everyone is a victim. And you can't have needles real... Fuck yourself. Um, you might have a, have a stock of hundreds of needles. And for some people, it just removes one more barrier from a potential relapse. Experts stress that no one should use steroids unless under the care of... You can't even use steroids with a freaking doctor, okay? Like, that's not how... They're talking about D-ball. I'm talking about, like, non-approved like medications. And saying that testosterone's a freaking, like, steroid is ridiculous. It, it is, but it's not. It's not the way things work. This, this is not a thing. One-third of men who use large doses have profound suppression of testicular function when they stop. Okay, then just take HCG and take HMG. And let's be very clear, as I've talked about in my other videos, the clinically proven safe doses are 100 milligrams to 650 milligrams. The 600 milligram, 650 milligram study was done for cancer patients. And as my mantra has um, gone, are you not as dubbed to be treated as a cancer patient with as much care, with as much dignity, and with as much respect as a cancer patient? I think you are. Now, another doctor may say, well, it carries risks. Okay, get an image of the heart, do some studies, try it, titrate it over a certain amount of time. If it's healthy, it's healthy. If it's not, then for that individual, it is not safe. Um, but there is nothing in guidelines, in literature, in anything that says from 100 milligrams to 650 milligrams that it is not safe, that it is not clinically indi indicated, that it is a bodybuilding dose, that if you're using this amount of medication, then you will die. It's not how it works. That is not what the guidelines state. And we treat symptoms. Dak Shepard has said, I have a history of this illness in my family. These particular people, um, who supposedly actually get paid by the government too, um, some FDA people and some uh, uh, these fancy people who are working for these uh, you know, various institutions, getting paid by federal dollars, and then they're using uh, his HIPAA information against him, and then also using that information against other people as a weapon. Well, no. There are millions of people each year who are being diagnosed with hypogonadism. We now understand through estrogeneration and from the other books that were written prior that the entire society is contaminated, that we have a toxic environment. And ladies, I'm calling you out here. you got to be champions for the men in your life. You have to be out there learning as much as he possibly can about the subject, getting the guys in your life tested, and getting them treated. You have to be on the war path to help these men who may not have the ability to talk openly about it, may be ridiculed, may even be harmed by their own doctors, and have to seek other treatment from other doctors. And ladies, you got to be out there with the hammer, button heads, and kick them butt. Because if you want men in your life who are strong, who've got strong boners, who are excited to see you, who are not cranky, who can lift shit, 
who aren't hobbling, <laughs> who aren't in the doctor's office every week. You need a guy with high testosterone. It's just a fact. Um, you know what's even more hilarious about this is that, like, so I could probably go on USA Today. You know, I'll do this right now while we're while we're talking. Uh, I'm gonna go on USA Today, and I'm gonna look up. Um, let's see. Women's hormone replacement. I was gonna find the first thing that comes up. Let's see what they're saying about women's hormone replacement. LGBTQ stuff, which is off label, and there's no clinical studies, and it's really dangerous. Not touching that. Um, Arkansas. Okay. Women are more likely than men to develop heart failure and die after a heart attack, study says. Oh, really? And are you talking about estradiol in here? Which I hope you are, and if you actually have your act together. Um, let's just do control F. Estrogen. Ah, here we are. Oh, wow. So this steroid, this, uh, these heavy steroids, uh, um... Obviously, this is because the protective cardiovascular effects of heavy estrogen wanes in women during menopause. <laughs> uh, the American Academy of Cardiology says high estrogen levels of women, women help protect the heart by increasing flexibility of blood vessels and arteries, allowing them to accommodate blood flow. Wait a minute. Isn't estrogen upregulated when you take testosterone? Holy fucking shit. I just I just stumbled on something. Dax Shepard is protected by estrogen. Whoa. So yeah, USA Today is full shit. Uh, don't listen to them. Don't listen to their uh, federally uh, uh, funded... Um, uh, I have to say t intelligence operatives for a uh, foreign state, um, whoever they're working for. Um, obviously, they're trying to harm men. They're trying to harm Dex Shepard using his own HIPAA information against him, um, which is straight up a felony. Um, and I actually hope that they do sue those people because that's definitely not what you're allowed to do. Um, and uh, yeah, estrogen's cardio protective, uh, and testosterone's cardio protective. Um, kind of helps you, like, you know, keep bones and stuff so you don't have to get, you know, Huge surgeries and stuff like that. Um, and I will encourage Dak Shepard to become a badass and a warrior for other people who need to get help. I will challenge you to start a charity, a 501c3, to help veterans and to help people without the, the cash to be able to get this treatment. And I expect an email from you that I will help you do it. And I will connect you with the doctors who can make this happen and with the organizations to make this happen. Because you know what? We actually need to be out here talking in the media and getting on these people's cases of, no, that's not what the experts say. The experts say that uh, testosterone through the upregulation of estradiol is cardioprotective. No, we have millions of people with traumatic brain injury. No, there's over 50,000 deaths from due to traumatic brain injury due to the lack of neurotransmitters in their body. No, we have these millions of people who are dying from CTE, and the only reason why their brains are deteriorating is because they don't have the neurotransmitters. So you can't just be out here saying this nonsense and trying to go against men and use their HIPAA information against them. That's not how this works, and I challenge Dax to be a warrior for this because we need celebrities out there to uh, get this and hammer this home and to be in the face of these people, in the face of adversity, who, in my opinion, these people are working as intelligence operatives for a foreign government. Who knows who they're working for, but they're definitely working for people who don't have the best interests of Americans in mind, and if they're using these kind of things against people um, to prevent them from getting health care, because the first thing that should have been said in that was, if you need to be tested, go get tested. Here's the way that you get tested. Here is the link to AMMG or you name your big society that does this. Or heck, the Endocrine Society. Go on the Endocrine Society's website, click a button, go off to Quest Diagnostics, get your blood tested, do these lab tests to find out if you have low testosterone and not end up in the hospital because you're dying, because your bone density is all jacked up, your immune system is all messed up, and then you get in a car accident because you like snooze off while you're driving and you feel like absolute crap. And, well, you're lady hates you because you don't have any boners anymore um yeah so dax shepherd i expect 
you out and out there, even if it's not with the community itself, I expect you to be a champion, and I expect you to start a, a charity to now be on the forefront, be on the front lines, and to combat this propaganda from people who are not trained in this, they don't know how it works, and if I asked any of these doctors, there's no way they'd actually be able to say what the common treatments are, it's talking about nonsense with fertility and whatnot, no, freeze your sperm, get on HCG, get on HMG, and uh, move on with your life. Uh, this is Brad from TFT for Warriors. You can check out the group on Facebook. Just search TRT for Warriors on Facebook. Um, anywhere podcasts are, you will find us, except for Apple, which you're going to have to take your RSS feed and figure that out on your own. I'm not doing it. Somebody else can. Um, <laughs> you can get my stuff on Spotify, Google Podcasts, all the podcasts. You can find it. It's out there. And we're on YouTube. Uh, you guys be safe out there. If you want to get your own blood tests, go to Quest Diagnostics. I don't get paid from them, by the way. Uh, go to Quest Diagnostics. Get your total testosterone, free testosterone, LH, FSH, C-reactive protein, IGF-1, and throw in a PSA. Get those done. Send those to a doctor. Um, I don't get paid by any doctors. You can go to Mercy Hospital, and uh, there's a doctor there, Dr. Brad Garner. You can go in Paris, Texas. There's a doctor, Dr. Jordan Grant. You can get expert um, treatment from him. There's Invigorate Wellness in Florida. There is Justin Groach in Tennessee. There is Dr. Keith Nichols in Tennessee as well. There's Defy, Matrix, Aspire Regeneration, Pittsburgh, Thrive Alternative Medicine in the Carolinas, the Frank Institute, and Dr. Mark Gordon. Got any one of those with your labs. Get treated, don't be a victim, conquer, and let's defeat this together.